Women prefer men with resources, and I always make sure to smell good. Hey, yo, be mad at your dad, not at me. See, he should have probably taught you this when you were just a little thing, but he did it. Now you have to live your entire life through rejection and heartbreak with women. So if you ask me, it's his fault that now Jose has to come in here and clean up the mess. <laughs> yo, I'm just playing. You better love and respect that man for raising you. I'm just here to fill in the voids of things he might have forgotten to tell you about women. Let's hop into it. Number one, focus on yourself first. So many men just get this confused, but in the famous and wise words of Tony Montano, <coughs> In this country, you have to get the money first. Once you get the money, you get the power. Once you get the power, you get the girl. All right, that was a horrible interaction, but you get the idea. Roll the clip, he'll do it better. This country, you gotta make the money first. Then when you get the money, you get the power. Then when you get the power, then you get the woman. My man, this movie was filmed 30 years ago. You wanna know what's changed? Zero. Social media, all this stuff has been added onto the, onto the mix and nothing has changed. Women prefer men with resources. This is just biologically ingrained in them from nature. They only mate with the strongest males in a way to show your strength. It's accumulating resources, so focus on yourself first. Number two, there is never an excuse to smell bad. My, my dad actually taught me this when I was in first grade. Bro, I kid you not, I was the dude pulling up with like Armani code into middle school. Yeah, it's a, it was a little bit premature, but it is an invaluable lesson that today, yo, it's given me so many compliments. Shoot. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm wearing blue to Chanel right now and I smell amazing. It makes me feel better and those around me as well. And the truth is it doesn't matter what I'm doing or where I'm going. I could be going to the grocery store and I, and I always make sure to smell good. This is exactly why we dropped Santa Lucia about two weeks ago. And can I just say, first of all, mad love. Every single launch we've done, you guys have crushed it. And this one, yeah, this one was no different. Bro, we 10 x inventory from our Assure. Our Assure sold out in about two hours. This is about 90% gone. 90% gone, you guys did that. And for that, I am mad thankful. See, what we did with Santa Lucia was something special. We doubled the quality. We made the scents better. And more importantly, we made a scent for every category in your life. We made our love scent, which has come closer. We made our business scent, which is too conquering. And then we made our everyday scent, which is for everyday things like going to the grocery store or maybe a, a, or maybe a casual date at a coffee shop. The point is that we got you covered for life. And when you buy the entire set, not only does it look sexy and levels up your bathroom, it levels you up. It makes sure that you smell good anywhere. And since these are parfums, they last 10 times longer and they're made with high quality oils from France, so you already know. You got the best of the best in your bathroom, because your boy, yeah, I'm gonna hook you up. I'm not gonna let you down. Boys, if you guys have not picked up Santa Lucia, first of all, you missed out. Second of all, there is still time. Click that link down below, check out what we still got left, and get yourself a fragrance, and I promise you, it's gonna get your compliments. Number three, you need to keep your own opinion. I cannot tell you how many times dude will change the way they think the way they believe in politics, religion, and even their own personal opinion, opinions, what they like, what they dislike, they completely morph into the person that they like, thinking that that person will just magically like them back. Do you know how many other dudes have the same elementary grade level game plan to catch this girl? Yeah, she deals with this all the time and all you look like is a yes man. Women want men that are dominant. And one way to show your dominance is by keeping your own opinion, your own train of thought. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if it's opposing as to what she thinks, she's actually gonna find that attractive because unlike other dudes, you're not just submitting into her. Number four, how to know when it's over. See, this applies both to leading her on and being led on. See, if you see no future with this girl, no marrying, no long-term relationship, no kids, no none of that, or if she just annoys you and you only really like her when you're horny and then after you bust, then she goes back to annoying you, yeah, it's time to break it off. This girl, you're probably just leading her on. And on the flip side, it happens to us as well. See, if she's not responding to your messages as quick as possible, if she doesn't want to link up like she used to in the same race, or if she starts these toxic random fights with you out of nowhere just to fight and be angry at you, yeah, chances are she's annoyed by you and she's leading you on, so save yourself the dignity and cut that early. Which takes on to number five, 
always dress right. Not many fathers teach this because even them themselves, they don't understand this. But what you gotta understand is that clothing sends a message whether you like it or not. And it is a message that is received and read before you even open up your mouth. Meaning the way you dress can actually open doors or close them when it comes to women. And thank God that you're subscribed to this channel because I got your back. See, I know what they like, what they don't like, and how to make you look better. And if you're not subscribed, let's give our fellow brethren 10 seconds to subscribe. All right, five, five, four, three, two, I hope you subscribe, let's keep it going. And finally, number six, understanding that that girl or any girl doesn't owe you anything. She doesn't owe you a text back. She doesn't owe you a call, call back. She doesn't owe you a pickup on a FaceTime call. She doesn't owe you her Snapchat. Once you adopt that I don't give a crap type of attitude, you're gonna notice how much happier you are in life. See, because other dudes get so wrapped up on one girl that when that girl doesn't text them back, they get mad, their whole day is ruined, and now they're get, they get caught simping because they reciprocate that anger back to her, that's annoying. You on the other hand, when a girl does that to you because your boy Jose already told you what to do, yo, you brush it off and you go talk to another girl. That is gonna drive her crazy. That is gonna have her wondering, why is he not flipping out like the other dudes? That's what girls want. And that's basically it for this week's video, guys. Those are six things that your dad should have taught you, but now your brother Jose taught you, so you're good to go. You got no excuse. You're ready, bro. That's it for me today. See you next time.